you are now cooking with Free the Keto Coach. Today we are cooking, of course it's always keto, but we're cooking arroz con pollo. And of course we're using cauliflower rice, so this is like a Mexican dish that they make. They usually use rice and they do it with chicken. But I'm going to go ahead and do it with the cauliflower rice and show you how you can still enjoy yourself. And you get a whole treat right now. So here we go. We're going to start by putting the fire on. I already chopped down a breast. You can use thighs if you like. Uh, actually, thighs are better to use during keto because of the fat, but I prefer to use breasts. So anyway, here we go. We got this pan getting done. I have all my vegetables that I already chopped up. So we got on here, what we have on here, we have cilantro, we have a little bit bell pepper, green bell pepper. We have some tomatoes and we have some onion and we have one serrano um, pepper. Right. Oh, I hope it's not spicy. No, it's not spicy. It's very, very mild. So, so, we got this. We also got the, the cauliflower rice that we're using today. Uh, it's like two, two dead grams, the cauliflower. It's all cauliflower. You could buy a frozen and you can just put of it carbs. in the microwave. It's only yeah. two dead carbs? Yeah, something like that. And you could, put in the, you could put it in the microwave and let it go for five minutes. And then you can put it in the pan. All right? First, we're going to start out with chicken. We're going to go ahead and, and the chicken, we just chopped it up in, in small little cubes. It doesn't matter what size um, the chicken is, right? It don't matter. We're going to put all the chicken down like this. All right, shout out to everybody. Where we got, where we have on here? We, we have Tilly, here? Jose, and I can't see anybody else on there. And then we did make some spinach just yeah to go to side on the side salt pepper remember it's always garlic. important and we have we're getting a lot of if you think about it we're getting a lot of vegetables we're getting cauliflower and then we get the spinach and we're gonna let this cook cook up right here we're gonna put the fire up a little higher we're gonna put a little more oil well, in it more a little bit remember oil ain't bad for you oil is good that's the olive olive oil olive oil is good for you you know, we have to make sure everything cooks. Okay, these are the seasonings I'm using. I'm using uh, nor, the foil flavor. I'm using Goya, Gaia? Goya, Goya. Right? Goya. And I'm using this one right here, uh, Badia, right? Badia? Badia. Yeah, Badia. I got a little paprika. I like to put paprika in my chicken, and I got some minced garlic. We got some garlic, and I also got some fresh garlic that I'm gonna do right now. We're gonna do some fresh garlic on it. Uh, garlic does play a big part in this dish, and especially fresh garlic, because you want the fresh, fresh garlic. I'm gonna get this out the way because this has been sitting on the chicken. Rinse this out. And not just rinse it out, but wash it out, because you don't want to. Well, that's some salmonella. Well, yeah. yeah, the you bacteria from the raw meat. You don't want no bacteria. A lot of times people, they don't want to watch their, their surface, and you actually need to. But we got a brand new surface right there, brand new cutting board. We're going to watch the blade. If you have any questions while we're cooking, let us know. We're, 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 we're honored to ask any, ask, uh, on that. To answer any questions. Guys, congratulations to me. I have... <laughs> I'm like, I have, what? I have over 10,000. Listen, this is That is going to congratulate me for something. I have over 10,000 followers on TikTok, guys. And that's huge because I have a lot of people following me. I have, I, I'm have. i opening eyes to a lot of people saying, man, you know what? I didn't know I can eat this for keto. And I didn't know how, you know, they're loving my cooking shows. They're loving everything. And they're all going to my YouTube. So everybody can go to my YouTube and see everything I have on my YouTube. All right, we're going to go ahead and put this around like this. All right, now we're going to go ahead and season this. We're going to break it up a little bit. Now we're going to season this right here. We're going to start with some paprika. I'm going to, all you're trying to do is just cover the whole thing. Just cover the whole platform. Letitia Munoz okay. said, great job. Awesome, thank you, thank you. And I worked hard. I worked really hard to get my, my, my TikTok. I know, he stays on TikTok. Like Working I'm, hard. I help, I help a lot of people on there, man, a lot of people. So we're just trying to cover. So season every piece. Yeah, just 
try to season everything. This like reminds that. me of Persian food. How does it remind you of Persian food? The chicken chunks. Oh, no. No, it don't remind me of Persian food at all. Okay, we got, the, we got the garlic right here. We're gonna go ahead and bring that garlic down. We should have got it on one hit. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna get the garlic out. How y'all been doing, guys? How y'all been doing? Who's doing keto lifestyle? Who's doing the amazing keto lifestyle? Or who wants to start? We're going to put the garlic. We're going to start the garlic because we want to remember we want to get garlic taste to it. We're going to put the fresh garlic right there, right? We're going to go ahead and put some of this in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use just very little bit of this right here. Why? That's the more. best part. I'm going to put more. I'm gonna put more. This is my favorite part. Yeah, but then it might, you don't want it to come out too salty. So but it's a lot of chicken and rice. Right, right. We talked to you how to nothing's, cook, love. nothing's coming out. Who taught you how to cook, love? Let's say, I think that everybody wants to hear who taught you how to cook. I'm sorry, I was only 17. Oh, God. So. I didn't know how to cook. All right, cilantro. I mean, not cilantro, uh, cumin. <laughs> That's human, not, that's human not. Human plays a big part. Remember, we're trying to cover the dish. All right. Now that we got this, we're going to flip this over right here. We're going to start, let it go all over the thing. All right. See, so now that you hit your chicken, you just want to put your chicken all over the place like this. Look. Like that. And then we're going to put this to the side right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and start the vegetables. Let me get this out. For the These are for the boys. Um, you got their plates? They're, well, just wait, just wait, cause they're not even. Oh, okay, they're not ready. In the, in the dark green top. What is that in the dark green top over there? Sasson? Yeah, Sasson. <clears throat> yeah, Did I use it, I used it It's right? called Goya. I used it right. Sasson, yeah, someone was asking what oh, it is. I'll show them right now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this down. One important thing that I always tell y'all, make sure y'all seeds on your tomatoes are not, you don't make sure they're seedless. But when you're cooking a tomato, you're fine with the seeds. Why, Lydia? Why you don't want, when you eat a tomato? Because of the salt? lectins. Yes. Seeds. And what do the lectins do? Doesn't allow your... Um, to lose weight. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah. Jessica gonna, says, hello. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? My cousin, my cousin, huh? Yes. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and chop this up a little bit. Oh shoot, that's too much. This is way too much. Can't believe all it's this, already all, seven. All this right here, all that right there is just um, oops. It's bell pepper. I just had a little bit of bell pepper. So we're gonna go ahead and let this cook. Right like on the sideline, right here on the sideline. All this is going to cook right here. All this meat going to cook down. And these pieces are kind of big, but again, you could do any size you want. Again, you can use thighs. Um, I choose to use breasts. I just always like breasts more than anything. So we're going to put more fire on here right here. So now that we got it all seasoned up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to be using some tomato sauce. And this, is, this has very, very little bit. So we're going to be using some tomato sauce and just... We just want to use a little bit more tomato sauce. In there's there. none in the fridge. I don't think so. That's the one I got from the, I think that's the one I got. No, we didn't got it. Um, I didn't have that sauce up from yesterday, but you don't want to put that sauce in. Um, well, you already put a serrano. Yeah. You, you could put some in there. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and throw this around to the whole thing. We're going to go ahead and put it around the whole thing. Again, I didn't have a lot of bell pepper, so I had to do what I had. These got to be small. I don't want to be small. I don't want to be big. So we're going to go ahead and let it cook. It smells really good already, don't it? Mm -hmm. That smells really, really good. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask questions, guys. That helps. That helps my ratings. 
that helps Facebook see all the interaction I got with people. Well, it helps people learn. Yes, that too, that too, that too. Uh, the other day I did a video, man, just yesterday I did a video. Was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, talking about, it was Keto 101, or one, 101, and it was talking about what is keto? What is the ketogenic lifestyle? Because a lot of people say, I'm doing keto, but then they're not doing keto. They're not doing it right, you know? And I'm not talking about, like, you doing the low-carb tortillas and anything like that, because I don't care what the keto police says. There's nothing wrong with eating low-carb tortillas. The main thing about the keto lifestyle is you're trying to stay at 20 net carbs and nothing over that, you know? And it, there might be days where you might go one or two, then you're going to be okay, but it's just different. I try to tell people it's different. And I'm going to start being more specific um, on what I'm talking about. I'm busy, Jay. We're doing, we're doing a, video. a video, babe. And I'm going to start being more specific on what we're talking about. Because Come over. the thing is, I'm keto adapted already. I've been doing the keto lifestyle for three years. I'm keto adapted. I fast. I do 20 hours fast every day. I still fast every day. Nothing's going to stop me from fasting. I take a fast every day. My wife fasts. Sandra D says, look, see me. I'm down 18 pounds. Awesome. That's really awesome. How long have you been doing it? Who's that? Sandra D. Scott. How long have you been doing it? Crushy. Guys, look how good this looks, guys. And then that's what you're trying to do is just cook it with all the gravy and everything. And it's it's always good. It's always great to see free cook, right? Yeah, I just love y'all enjoy it. It is, because then it's right? dinner time. <laughs> Thanks to my wife. Shout out to my wife, camera lady. She does a great job. Oh, thank you. I, I you know, I couldn't do everything I do without you, love. I'm gonna be honest with you. That y'all can hear it live right now. I could not do everything I'm doing without my wife. Straight up. Mm. All right, guys. So we got all this going on right here. I'm going to go ahead and open another tomato sauce just so we can get a little bit more out of this right here. <laughs> Chris Cruz Palomares said, Keto and music. That should be the title to your next cookbook. Right. People don't realize how much music I've done, man. You know, I'm a DJ and everything, but man, I've been doing DJing since the late 80s. Since Ooh. late 80s, I've been DJing. And I was rapping at one time, man. I did like I did like 10 CDs on that. You know, a lot of people Sandra said she's been doing it for two months. Oh, that's awesome. How much weight? 18? Yeah, 18, that's pounds? really good. Good. So what is her day looking like? Tell me, take, take me through your day. Tell me how you, when you're waking up, what are you eating and stuff like that? All right. Okay, so we're gonna let this simmer. Come this way, love, a little bit. All right. Just keep focus on here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead. I like to put, I like to put onion powder on my stuff too. Just a little bit of onion powder like that. The onion powder, and I'm missing something. I don't know where it's at, hold on. Do you know where that Mexican, oh, here it goes. Here it goes, woo, some oregano. Mexican oregano, guys. Don't be afraid to put it. It's delicious. Right there, Mexican oregano. That's going to that's gonna do the dish right there. All right, we're going to go ahead and move this around again a little bit like this. Very well seasoned. Yes, Not yes. bland. No, bland is not in keto. But there, there, there is people that, you know what? I well, there are people that I was coaching somebody, bland. right? We're well, coaching a lot of people right now. And one girl hit me up and she tells me, she goes, free... It's okay if I have five boiled eggs. I said, do you like boiled eggs? She says, well, not really, but I know that you have to eat boiled eggs during keto. And I said, no, you don't. I said, how do you like your eggs? She said, oh, man, if I could have them sunny side, I would love them sunny side. I said, that's exactly what you've got to have them. Have them sunny side. See, a lot of times people, they think they have to eat eggs a certain way. And then you got these people that are doing egg fasts. You know, what's an egg fast? So then when they're doing the egg fast, they hate life because, I mean, just not too long ago I talked to somebody, oh, I ate eggs today, I ate eggs yesterday, I had to eat boiled eggs, I had to eat this to go with this. Oh my God, they're, they're torturing themselves. When you don't have to, you can eat eggs, however you want your eggs, you eat your eggs, however you want your eggs. You're gonna get the same thing out of, matter of fact, if you're eating them sunny side, 
the yoke has way better way better properties that are going to help you guys way better benefits that are going to help you from the yoke all right we're going to go ahead and mix this up right now and we're going to let it cook the main thing about cooking cauliflower rice is making sure that you cook it you have to cook it really 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 good don't this look good guys and i ain't even done i ain't even have finished yet Jessica asked, so you don't fry the cauliflower? Yes, yes, I'm frying it right now. That's where that's what I was just talking about. You gotta make sure everything's fried up. On this dish, and this particular dish right here, it's gonna fry up. I want the flavor on everything. And that's why I'm frying it up right now with everything. So you're gonna notice how the color is gonna start changing a little bit. And you want to just make sure and see that this is this is we're not done yet. See, we don't want no dry. We don't want this to be dry. I'm not looking for dry. We're just gonna fry it and right. then add right. Then some we're then we're gonna back. add a little bit of stuff to it and not like a soup, but you know what I mean. Like I had it last time. All right. So we're gonna let this fry. We're gonna go ahead and put a little more oil on this this thing right here real quick. That's good. And now we're gonna let it fry. And guys, if I tell you, when I if I told you my kitchen don't smell good, I'll be lying because it smells amazing, amazing man. And if you make this, make sure you tag me on it. Put hashtag. Thank you, free or, or this is what I did for you or whatever you want to say. Just put hashtag keto coach wherever you want to put on there. Do that fair for me. And subscribe to my YouTube channel Keto is Live TV. Subscribe to that because people and people are subscribing. Thank you, people. Thanks to everybody that's subscribing. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna let we're gonna bring the fire down a little bit, and we're gonna let it toast up. That's what we're trying to do is toast it up. He's cooking it on high with this pan. Yeah, they can. They can Particularly, yeah. Yeah. You just gotta see how much of a sizzle you get with your pan. Everybody's stove is gonna be different, you know, and pans and their pans. But man, I tell you what, this is amazing. And you can find this on my YouTube. I already have one time we did it on YouTube, right? We did we did this on YouTube before. Yeah, we've made this dish before. So everything I make, you can find it on YouTube. Most of everything I made, I already made at least once. Like we did the pupusas are on YouTube, which are amazing. Um, what's some of the biggest dishes that we did? Oh, the one I did um, the la very last time was uh, the Jamaican. The Jamaican food did really well. And the Chinese food does really, really well. I'm, I'm talking about views, like on YouTube. It Susan, does really, really Susan's well. saying hi, hi, and she's hey, about to Susan. share. Hey, how you doing? Thank you, Susan. I really appreciate you. Susan's like my tia. She's like my family already. She really is, man. They're really awesome. Her, Joe, and everybody, they're really, really awesome, man. Really good people, man. See, guys, and that's what we're, that's what we're trying to do is get it like that. See, now, now that it's all pretty much dried up, not dried up, but, you know, put together, you're going to you're gonna start hearing it toast more. Okay, we're going to eat this with some broccoli, uh, not broccoli, oh, uh, spinach. spinach. Yeah, we all need right. some spinach on the side. So now we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of tomato sauce in it. To be exact with y'all, we're looking at probably two tablespoons. So that's pretty good right there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of water to it. You wanna just shake the thing up, add a little water to it. And then we're gonna let it sit. Now I'm going to cover it and I'm going to let it simmer. See, that's what you're trying to do is get like, that's the kind of consistency we're trying to get right there, guys. Oh, Nat Natasha, the spinach is just on the side. Yeah. I just want to get extra greens okay. and the best well, way for me, the are important yeah, because, the okay, best gonna, way is bring through bring spinach. Down. We're going to bring the, the, the fire down right here. I'm gonna cover the. I'm gonna cover the spinach. I'm just eating on the side. Just 
extra. Yeah. Sometimes we're like, oh, these veggies don't go with this, or but I still want to get greens. It's good fiber. Yeah, it's important, especially if you're doing the keto lifestyle. Um, so I just need it, to have some spinach. It, uh, spinach or some, we have Brussels sprouts. We might do Brussels sprouts sometimes. Or like sometimes I, I just do the spinach in a smoothie and drink it in the middle of the day just to yeah, get extra. I don't, I don't feel for smoothies and like that. I don't think you need them. But what you do need the is greens you need apple cider help. vinegar. Uh, that drink I've been showing you how to make it. I know y'all been, I hope y'all been taking it. If y'all been taking it, let me know. The apple cider vinegar, um, what is it called? The apple cider vinegar, the cream of tartar. The uh, cayenne, the turmeric, what else is it? Uh, ginger, all the good stuff that helps your body and everything helps your body like you wouldn't believe. Go ahead. Yeah, so Natasha, that's it. Just. <laughs> you don't like it cooked. Yeah, the texture sometimes, but yeah, with the smoothie, I love it's the perfect. Cook. I love the cooking. No, the reason. spinach. Oh, oh, the spinach. Oh. I I can get more handfuls you know in what? if I cook it. I'm not sure. Sunday, maybe Sunday. When is Fourth of July? Saturday. Saturday, maybe Saturday. We're gonna do probably some spinach enchiladas, and I'm gonna show you how to do some keto spinach enchiladas. Maybe or we'll do something else. Guys, let me know. Give me an emoji. Give me a hundred emoji or give me some kind of emoji. Let me know if y'all been enjoying these shows. And make sure y'all go subscribe to my YouTube channel, Keto is Life TV. There we go, guys. There we go. Look how good that looks, guys. I'm going to go ahead and eat. You know how I got to eat some in front of y'all? All right. Should I do a regular plate or a small plate? Big plate? Use the plate that you're going to end up using for dinner. Okay. We don't need to wash extra little dishes. All right. All right, we can use this plate right here. That works. All right. Jay, 100%. He says yes. Appreciate that, man. All right, guys. Oops. Mm. Kitchen police, they, they don't want me to make a mess in here. No. All right, guys. The moment y'all been waiting for. Can you go ahead and taste this right now? So you've had arroz con pollo. And arroz con pollo is not good for you. Why? Because of the rice and all the net carbs it carries and it's just not good for you. Well, this is arroz con pollo, my style, keto style. And these, this is a uh, um, cauliflower Mexican. Arroz con pollo, here we go. It's hot, it looks hot. You know what? I never seem to amaze myself. It's always, <laughs> it's always, oh my else. God, so delicious. You know what? My food, it's keto. But you can't tell it's keto. You really can't tell it's keto. I mean, it doesn't taste keto at all. You know, it, it's crazy because it's delicious. So delicious. Mm. 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 I know. I okay, two that's bites. a lot of bites already. Both be, two, both be two bites. All right, guys. As always, appreciate y'all. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Keto's Life TV. And you can find me on TikTok under Keto Coach, and you can find me on Instagram and all the other ones. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Subscribe, Keto's Life TV. Thank you, guys. Bye, bye.